MMJ started in 1960. Um, Martin is uh, Ted Martin. Uh, he's uh, the grandfather of Steve Martin, who was a, um, a local federal uh, representative, a politician. Uh, Rex Morris, who only lasted a few years, and my father, Alan Jones. They decided to go out, out their own in the 1960s and, and started their own real estate company. With any business, you, know, you want to control your own destiny, and you know, working for somebody else is, can be satisfying in one, in one direction, but certainly being able to start and build your own business and, and create something that, um, that you can continue on with and get all the rewards out of that business, but it would have been their own. We started at 299 Crown Street. Initially, when I started, we had, I think, one residential property manager, three salespeople, a receptionist, and me. It has grown considerably over the years, um, and now it incorporates various departments, which provides uh, a one-stop uh, shop uh, for the real estate industry. So we sort of just kept growing and then we finally outgrew that building and that's when we moved to Regent Street. I remember when I first joined MMJ, the first Christmas party we all got into a minibus with our partners and went to Sydney. Uh, now we book out City Beach Function Centre uh, with our partners and uh, it's become you know, a very large organisation. And we're up to 40 staff now. Obviously they had one office and we've got the five offices now with a total of about, uh, about 90 staff. We like to care for people, uh, both our clients and our staff. Uh, we have great integrity and honesty, so I think those three things are the key elements to MMJ. To do what we've done and to get where we are today, obviously probably the most important one of those is, is honesty. Uh, I think people know that about us, they know that we've been established a long time for a reason and you know it's not always what people want to hear but we like to think that we tell them like it is and you know that's that's the best way. If you do the right thing by people it comes back to you. Certainly from the start you know that, that's been ingrained in all of us that you know uh, honesty and truth and reliability all the things that, uh, that we value have been ingrained through the directors of the company and, uh, and through the staff. As a company, we have a very broad um, uh, department base. Nine out of ten real estate agents deal in just residential real estate. So for a start to deal um, you know, prominently in commercial industrial uh, is a point of difference. We have a uh, town planning department, a very strong valuation department, uh, so, and project marketing as well. Uh, we've now got marketing services in addition to that. So. We've got a full range of real estate uh, services which nobody else in Wollongong can, uh, can provide and I think uh, even in New South Wales it's, it's unique uh, as, as to the provision of uh, the service that we provide in, in the real estate industry. A lot of that business that we, we get come through the door just comes back through word of mouth or, or repeat business from people who we've looked at uh, or talked to uh, a long time ago. I still get people ring me uh, quite often and say I bought a property from your dad. 12 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago and uh, they come back because of the name and because of the way they were treated. I think the culture is, uh, is the thing and uh, uh, we have genuine friendships with, um, with our staff. We've got long term staff who've been with us for quite a while. Um, we've got uh, people I think hopefully get up every day and enjoy coming to work. This is my 25th year so it's half my life. They're a great company to work for. Um, I've been a director for about 20 of those years and I've seen the company grow uh, from fairly humble beginnings to what it is today. It's not like going to work. We try to keep it as, as light-hearted and friendship-based, socially-based as possible. I think Martin Morris and Jones is a good company to work for. Um, but particularly because they care of, uh, about the employees as individuals and you also trust the people you work for. I don't think there's a day that I've ever woken up that I thought I really don't want to go to work today. They're, uh, they're good fun. We did have a time where all of us girls thought, you know, it's time that the guys sort of really realise our value. And it was April Fool's Day one year and we all decided to go around the corner and have a cup of coffee and we all rang five minutes apart, one after the other, and we rang in sick. And there wasn't a single female in the office. And there was panic stations. And then all walked in, two minutes past nine, April Fool, <laughs> it was good. So we, we got them, it was good. 
I don't know of any other agency in Wollongong that has had the principles uh, in the business for three generations. We're seen as a, as a family company. We've had a couple of inter-staff relationships and one marriage and some Martin Morrison Jones babies out there. And I think that, uh, that uh, gives people comfort and they, they like that side of things, the family environment. Yeah, it means a lot to me to, to be the one in the family to continue the tradition. Yeah, my dad would be very proud and I'm very proud to have, uh, have my two children in the business as well. As we all get older, we realise that there was a need to have a succession plan. If one option for us was to sell the company and then that may or may not continue its current form. But we had a desire as a directors there to see the company go for a, another 50 years. So that, that, that then meant we had to have a succession plan. And we've got a, a good new wave of, uh, of young directors coming through with uh, some of the older ones still there. And you know, the succession plan will see, I think, the older generation of directors phased out and the new ones taking the company forward and uh, hopefully as successful as the last 50 years it's been.